So you guys coming up from the city? Yeah, we're just heading up for the weekend. Can I see your license, please? He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. Call me Dean and you're hungry, my man. So how long has this been going on, this, this thing? <laughs> We hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I couldn't bear to let them go. Do you smoke in front of my daughter? I'm gonna quit. She'd take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. This movie feels relevant, you know, very relevant. It kind of feels like a metaphor for like, the undercover agenda for maybe like a Trump voter or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the it, it is very relevant. And and I wrote this movie in when we were in this period where Obama was uh, president. We were in this post-racial lie, right? We weren't supposed to talk about race. People would get mad at you for bringing it up like it doesn't exist, like we're past it. So this movie was about bringing that to the surface and saying, no, 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 no. Um, now it's even more relevant you know we it's it's first of all you can't you can't escape the reality right now no one can escape the conversation about race because it's it's happening and it's 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 a monster but um yeah it's it's the way the the world has um developed in the last uh, couple of years is very very frightening and uh it, the timing is weird nice what was the conscious decision behind like using like Childish Gambino, uh, you know, to kick off, you know, the Red Bone, you know, kick off the movie? Well, first of all, you know, I love, you know, the, you know, stay woke. I, you know, that's what this movie's about. I wanted to make sure that this movie satisfied the black horror movie audience need for characters to be smart and do do things that um, intelligent, observant people would do. So I wanted to make sure we had the, that our lead, uh, Chris, played by Daniel Kaluuya, was a guy that we believed in and believed he would make the right decisions, believed that he is woke. And, and, um, and then, um, you know, obviously, when I, when I, when I, I'm, I'm a huge uh, uh, Childish Gambino fan, huge, huge fan of Donald's. I, I had him in to see the movie. I put the, the song in there and I was like looking at him like... <laughs> Um, and, and good reaction and, and he uh, he loved it and he um i was just very very honored by his reaction and it's 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 a perfect it's a little haunting too and a little bit of a throwback as well like this film is so it's a perfect mix mesh is this movie a comedy i don't think of it as a comedy i think it has a, a satire mm -hmm. to it i took it very seriously as a thriller you know i'm trying to uh scare people there are a lot of laughs in it, and there uneasy are, laughs. Yeah, and then there's also laugh, relief, laughs of relief, but there's no there's no jokes in it. Um, the character Rod, played by Little Rel Howery, um, comes. He totally steals the movie. A lot of people say, I, I you know, I, I agree. Even though every every performance is good, but he brings the element of levity that the audience really needs. But more importantly, he's he's a real he's a realistic character. He's saying the things that. We, we're we yelling at the screen. So I think the, the, the humor comes from kind of a relief that, oh my God, this movie is, this is like the, it, there's like, it's like the anti-horror movie in a way. Stay woke. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And you, you're on a hot streak for like this most unbelievable movies that get passed through Hollywood. You know, you had Keanu and, and now you got Get Out. You know, like you said yesterday, you can't believe they let you make this movie. How did it, how, you know, who believed in it and said, you know, this is something that we want to see. First, first person that got it was this guy named Sean McKittrick at QC Entertainment. Um, I pitched it to him just like that. I was like, no one's ever going to make this movie, but listen, this is this is how it goes. Yeah. And he was like, let's make it. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary is a devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, their bonds to the apostles and elders of GMS, the loops and honors to their legs, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity. Now that scripture is from 1 Peter uh, chapter 5, verse 8. I wanted to go into it because as you've seen in the video, Jordan Peele, he, uh, he put that Childish Gambino song in there, uh, which is Redbone. He put it in there for the, the stay woke, which, you know, I let a song too. So, I mean, it was a 
perfect fit. But uh, as far as you know, this, this stay woke part, you know, I'm going to that word, a few words. Uh, first word being sober. So this is a uh, strong G three five two five. And it says to be sober, to be calm, and collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect. That's right, to be circumspect. You know, to be calm in the spirit, to know your surroundings, to know what's going on. Uh, the character in the movie of Get Out, that's what he was. He, he noticed that there was that something wasn't right. And even Jordan Peele said himself, he wanted, you know, the main character to be like a, a real Jake, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to, because, you know, when we watch a movie, we be like, oh, nigga, run, you know, or, no, no, don't go in that door, or, you know, he basically was the typical Jake that noticed the tall tale signs that something wasn't right, and he did the right thing, and that's how we gotta be in this truth. We, we gotta know what's right. We gotta know not to go there or to to stay in the spirit. Now another part of staying woke and being sober minded is uh, knowing the prophecies and knowing what's going on in the world. You know, reading, watching, and praying. Now the second one I want to go into is vigilant. So that is strong. Strong's G eleven twenty seven. Gregorio. Gregorio. Says to watch. To the metaphor, give strict attention to, be cautious, active, to take heed leads to remission and indolence, some destruct some destructive calamity sudden overtake one. <clears throat> and he was real vigilant because, you know, they had hypnotized him, and after that he still got away. He did, he did fall for a second, so he was able to, he got hypnotized, you know. But you know that goes into the whole scripture, which is be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. They seek to devour him, and he was with his adversary, the devil. So that that was his first mistake. You know, he shouldn't have been with that devil anyway. Not you know, in, in their um, territory or uh, in their in they in the mix with them. But at the end of the day, he was sober. He was vigilant. And he got himself out of that situation as well as his uh, his cousin or what his buddy. He was really you know what I'm saying vigilant. Cause he told him from the jump, you know what I'm saying? Watch out. So, you know, they stay woke. But uh that's and it's true. We just gotta understand what the what the most highest plan is and move forward according to the will of the most high. Cause the time that we're coming in, if you ain't diligent, if you ain't vigilant, then you know you won't fall. I got another scripture I want to begin to, which is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that they should overtake you as a thief. That's right, man. We're not in that sunken place. We're not in the darkness. We know what's going on. So it says, ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor the darkness. Therefore... Let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. There goes that sober again. Let us let us watch. Let us know what's going on so that we can combat the devil at every turn that we need to. So that we can get salvation in the end. It says, uh, for they that sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And for an helmet, hope the hope of salvation. That's right, man. We gotta get out of here. So in order to do that, we gotta be sober, vigilant, and circumspect. This uh, last scripture I wanna get is First Peter four and 
deception, he says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So, you know, I want to leave you with that. Be sober, be circumspect, be vigilant, you know, and let's get the fuck out of here. With that being said, call all your how about you, John Shah? The Bible said, Apostle, the elders of GMS, the Niners to the left, all the brothers from the four points, four and here, 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 and